Hello folks, once again Yadi Belly is here with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a meatless dish. Well, it's not really a dish, it's going to be a soup, yeah, but um, I'm going meatless. And I'm going to be doing cream of butternut squash uh, soup. Now this is the butternut squash, and I'm I'm fairly new to this um, vegetable. Uh, we have pumpkin in Jamaica, and everybody know our Jamaican pumpkin is 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 nice, you know. But I went to the supermarket and I found it, and I fell in love with it, with it. Um, it, it. I do hope that you will try it as well in your neck of the woods. Now with that butternut squash, we're going to be pairing some coconut milk, and we have some uh, vegetables here: carrots, radish, uh, celery green onion or scallion and a couple cloves of garlic um, I have garlic powder and I have um, salt and, and and pepper and I have um, uh, some some uh, seasoning salt and, and a little bit of hot pepper sauce over there I might not even use it you know I'm j I just have it there just in case the main ingredient is going to be our butternut squash the recipe is very simple you cut the squash up you add it to a pot of boiling water, you add all your ingredients, you allow it to cook as far as you as, as long as you can, as far as you want to take it. Then you add your coconut milk and you basically allow it to um, you know uh, to, to, to cook until it's so tender that it falls apart. And that's your soup. The coconut milk will give it the cream, the butternut squash once it's cooked it will soften enough for you to just take a, a, a spoon or something and just continue to break it while you're stirring your pot um, it will break apart alright so we're gonna get to it I'm gonna cut all my ingredients up put the pot on to boil and then we will see what happens next alright okie dokie so let's get going Okay, folks, here we have all our ingredients, basically uh, very, very small dices. Uh, we have our celery, we have our green onions, we have some radishes. And I let the radishes big because they generally break up um, quickly, but I like the red, and I'm hoping that that will stay a little bit longer. We have our carrots, we have our garlic. All right, now this is how the butternut squash looks on the inside. You know, it, it's relatively just like a pumpkin. All right, the shell is the outer skin is a little bit hard. The inside is red and nice. But however, um, versus the pumpkin, the pumpkin, this is much much sweeter. And wait, wait, Andrew Zimmer and said nutty, so nutty, nutty, nutty. All right, so uh, I just wanted to show you the inside of it. And this one, I, 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 when I purchased this, I left it for weeks on top of weeks for it to, you know, ripen and look nice. Uh, generally what we want to do is get out the insides and cut off the edges. Now it's a little bit rough, but you know, generally what you do is you peel away the edges like that. All right, I just wanted to show you quickly how you peel away the edges. All right, you just peel away the edges like that. And once you start peeling away the edge, you know, it, it comes away just as simple as it, it's a as a matter of fact this this skin is a little bit more rougher than the pumpkin you know normally you could cook even your pumpkin skin or cook it in the skin but this one is sort of rough so we don't really want the, the skin in that and then you take your knife you you know you cut it like this I this is how I would do it I quarter it um, you know and you cut it and basically I, I love saying basically you just peel away the inside to get the seeds and the membranes out and from there you dice it look at so zoom in over on the dice and you are good to go uh, another addition ladies and gentlemen that I wanted to mention is that with this is soup so if you want you can use whatever flavoring agent you want any soup stock you want you know if you have canned soup whatever you want to do to to oomph it up your way you can do that uh, with this particular dish I am using a little bit of the grace manish water yeah because it's a man thing mm-hmm I know manish water good for the structure right so we have our water boiling folks yes we have our water boiling steam rising and we're gonna just start adding ingredients now as I said there is no real order to adding your ingredients you just add your ingredients this soup is supposed to be a cream soup so it's it's not so much as to the 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 
you know the look of the ingredients or the, the vegetables when they when it when it's in it's how they look when it come out all right so we added our radish and next we're gonna add our garlic because I want this garlic to cook right out and flavor the whole of the pot so we're gonna add our garlic and pretty much oh I need to tell you it's five cups of water um, that I um, that I have in the pot there boiling and of course if I need more I will add more I, I'm adding my carrots and the reason why I dice them as I said is because it's a cream soup you know it's just that we can deal with the, the soup just just totally white and don't have a lot of you know vegetable in it so I have my celery now that I'm adding and last I'm adding my green onion and maybe later on I will cut a few more of the green onion the head of the onion just to add flavor all right and the last thing that I'm gonna add is is my pumpkin all right or my butternut squash now folks I will leave this to boil and allow these vegetables allow these vegetables to cook till they're tender and then we pick it up as we go on with the rest of our soup so my soup is boiling away yes my butternut squash it is happening folks and at this time I'm gonna add maybe half of the package of um, manish water all right now um, the reason why I'm adding it now is because I did not salt put any salt in my pot and so I'm gonna use the soup mix to be the salt generator you know because uh, folks once you're using a, a packaged soup or anything like that you definitely don't need to put no salt in it I'm telling you the truth all right and of course we're watching our sodium intake and so you know this is like a simple broth but with the addition of the um, with the coconut milk it's gonna become creamy and nice all right so as it is now if you like it this way without any type of um, coconut milk in it and stuff most certainly you can once the, the, the something the butternut squash gets tender you can you know lock up your stove and and you enjoy yourself a nice um, broth then you as if you're Jamaican like I am you can also add you know your yam and your dumpling and you know whatever you want to this if you wanted to make a, a, a chicken soup out of it you can also do that but for today I'm gonna stay meatless and I'm gonna basically just uh, go with my uh, cream now as I said the cream element will be with the coconut uh, milk and also when I um, when everything is cooked to a certain degree and it gets soft and I, I basically mash it up in the pot just you know mash everything together as you can see I laziness tech me and I went ahead and add some big piece of carrot in it and stuff so hey so it has been about 35 minutes 40 minutes folks and this is where my soup is now addition has happened yeah my wife is smell the soup and smell how nice it is and she decides that she want dumpling in it so she went ahead and just mix up some flour and make what is and made what is called spinners yeah Jamaicans call it spinners but it's just little bar, little um, dough logs you know flour and water you know and so we have spinners in our soup now as you can see while I'm stirring the pot folks I am I am you know as it were macerating my vegetables on the side now normally if you have an immersion blender or if you have um, a food processor you could extract some of the soup at a time little at a time from the pot and and you know blend it to creamy smoothness but it's it's a little bit more rustic this way and especially now that I have the spinners in there you know it's gonna be even more so awesome at this time now I want to add my coconut milk and now it comes as a powder you know let me see if I can zoom in and see it 
it comes as a powder so you know i'm gonna add uh it's half of the package of coconut milk and i'm gonna add um some boiling water maybe half cup of boiling water or hot water to it and then i'm gonna add it to my soup now i have my coconut milk all mixed up and i'm just gonna add it to the to the soup yeah and the coconut milk as i said is what's gonna make the creaminess and it's also going to give a, a very, very um, great amount of flavor to this, to this soup, all right? So now I just stir my pot and I leave it again, maybe another 20 minutes, 30 minutes if so long, you know, and just allow this, all the flavors to steep. Um, turn the stove down on, on low and allow my soup to just start to develop and as you can see rich creamy earthy you know a lot of um vegetables in there the carrots and everything that's making it look nice and that's my my soup and now uh, last but not least i'm gonna add one scotch bonnet pepper all right as you can see I'm not going to burst this pepper. I'm not going to, you know, open it in on at all or else we can't drink it. But I'm just going to allow the flavor of this pepper to just, yeah, stay in this pot and do its thing. All right. So when we come back, the next step is to... So here we are, folks, with our finished cream of butternut squash soup. And uh, as usual, you know, this is one of Yadi Belly's creation. It might not necessarily be the way you do it at your home, but nonetheless, butternut squash is a very, very good fruit, very versatile fruit, um, uh, vegetable that you can maximize its potential in your neck of the woods. Uh, with this soup, you can pair it with whatever you decide to eat soup with. You might put a sandwich with it. You can, you can put some chicken in it. You can do, you know, just about anything. This is just a base. This is just a template for you to start your own personal, you know, design on. So here I have uh, three color, three different color pepper. Well, you're not going to see the yellow peppers, but there is yellow pepper in there. There is some miscellion on the top, and there's some red peppers there. And, uh, you know, uh, as usual, I made my soup a little bit more rustic than, than you know, normal. It's not that creamy, 100% creamy. And I have some dumplings in there or spinners that the wifey made to add to it and yeah i'm just waiting to dig in once again this is yadi belly and this has been another video my cream of butternut squash soup stay tuned for more videos remember to like the page and subscribe and do all of that yeah i'm on facebook at yadi belly in a foreign so continue to listen, continue to watch, continue to love it, and we'll talk to you soon.